All right, I'm finally gonna try to uh, give a review or at least my two cents on the uh, SIG P226 Combat threaded barrel. I'm gonna try to focus specifically on this model, but uh, I guess uh, we'll start out when you buy the SIG, you get this case. So I get that in there. You get this uh, hard plastic case. And uh, it has this uh, foam in it, and the SIG comes in a bag and just spot for an extra magazine that it does come with, and then lock, papers, and some lube. It's a pretty nice case, though. Um, just to give you some specifications on the pistol, it is chambered in 9mm. The uh, weight is 35.3 ounces. The overall length is 8.3 inches, or 8.30 inches from uh, the uh, muzzle to the uh, uh, beaver tail, sort of, whatever, to right about there. Um, the overall height is five and a half inches from about here to here. Um, the width is one and a half inches. It is a thick gun. And the sight radius is 6.30 inches. So, right about there. So this is basically a full-size service pistol. Um, the weight definitely helps with the uh, controllability, even though a 9mm is pretty controllable to begin with, but uh, definitely shoots pretty nice. It is a double action to single action pistol, which means the... Um, Oh, this gun is unloaded, by the way. Take the magazine out, nothing. I'm in chamber. Um, that means the uh, first pull of the trigger, unless it's cocked, is going to be about a uh, 10 pound trigger pull. It's in a safe direction. But uh, in single action, about 4.4 .4 pounds so basically when you chamber around it's in single action but you can carry it in double action um, which is what this gun is meant to do and uh, so once you pull the trigger for the first round the slide will come back and uh, the rest will be light trigger pulls unless you choose to uh, decock it so yeah um, the SIG this model has the uh, slim trigger but uh, it doesn't have the uh, short trigger reset modification um, you can send it into SIG and they can do that and I think they charge somewhere like a hundred bucks to do it um, you can do it yourself. You can buy the parts from like Midway USA to do it. Um, I might do it eventually. I don't know. I'm pretty happy the way it is, but we'll see. Um, it does have a uh, stainless steel slide with a uh, nitron coating or finish on it. Um, the uh, frame is an alloy frame with a uh, FDE finish, flat dark earth. It kind of looks anodized, but uh, I'm not too sure about that. I didn't see anything on the website about it. But uh, you can send the uh, well the slide into SIG to finish it if you start getting some wear on it. But the frame they won't refinish, 
So, kind of stays how it is. Um, I really do like the finish on it. It's kind of like a, uh, well, I guess it's a flat dark earth finish. But uh, I don't know, there's some flat dark earth finishes that almost seem kind of bright. I know the camera kind of makes it look a little bright, but it's much darker than it looks. So, it is pretty nice. Um, the SIG also comes with night light sights, SIG night light sights, which I think are made by Trijicon. Um, they work pretty well in like dim light and the dark. I was kind of hoping they'd be raised because I plan on putting a suppressor on this, but uh, it's not too big of a deal. Really nice sights. Um, it does have a, a 1913 rail on it. So you can mount like lights, lasers, or basically whatever you want on there. So I I do have a, a Surefire X300 that I have been running on this for a little bit, but I just decided to take it off and put that on my Glock. Uh, but uh, this particular model does come with a, a factory threaded barrel, um, which is uh, 13 and a half by one left hand threads, I believe. And it comes with this thread protector for it. Um, that's the reason I got the uh, threaded barrel version. They do make this version without a threaded barrel. Um, because I plan on getting a, a suppressor. Well, I already bought it. It's a, a Silent Scale Osprey. And the uh, Form 4 should be coming in within the next month or so on it. So I'm excited to get that. We'll see how it shoots with that on. But uh, SIGs are known to be really good suppressor host. Um, SIGs and HK, but especially SIGs. They're just a little bit quieter. I know uh, Glock, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell unless you have like some equipment, but uh, Glock is a little bit louder of a host firearm than a SIG. Not to bash Glock or anything, they're great guns, but it's just, that's how it is. The uh, factory magazine holds 15 rounds. It's a flush fit magazine. I think it's made by Metgar. I think SIG contracts Metgar to make them, but uh, I'm not too sure. Um, you can get Metgar magazines, um, aftermarket magazines that hold 18 and 20 rounds. In fact, I have some over here. I did show it in another video. So there's the 20 round Metgar magazine. It's got the extended base plate on it and the 18 round. I'll just show you how it looks. That's the 18 round magazine. Kind of sticks out just a little bit, but so basically flush fit. And the 20 round magazine. Sticks out there a little bit too, a little bit more, not too bad though. And uh, these magazines are really reliable. But uh, yeah, um, SIG also makes this basically the same gun in a 45. It's the uh, SIG P220 Combat threaded barrel or you can get the uh, non threaded barrel version um, so I guess it just depends on which caliber you like um, I have heard I can't comment on this I have heard the uh, 45 versions of the combat have had some issues uh, it's I don't know how common it is I, I mean every gun manufacturer makes their uh, share of lemons but uh, I don't know that's just something I've heard just to throw that out there so, just make your call on that. Um, the overall er ergonomics on this gun are outstanding. I've always shot Glock and love those, but uh, once I held a SIG, I mean, it's just outstanding. It's just the uh, grip just feels so good. It just literally fits, well, my particular hand like a glove. It just fills the hand and just fits it perfectly. Uh, it definitely makes shooting it a lot easier. 
I'm definitely more accurate with this gun than my Glock. I still love my Glock. That's what I carry, but just shooting this gun is, it's awesome. Um, the reliability of this gun has been basically 100%. I have had five, around 500 rounds through it with uh, zero malfunctions on the gun's part. I did have uh, one failure to fire because of bad ammo and that was bad ammo. It hit the primer and everything. So that's not the gun's fault at all. Um, but SIGs are definitely known for the reliability. I mean, they're used throughout throughout the world, different agencies and uh, law en law enforcement, military, especially the uh, seals. I think they use the Mark 25. But uh, yeah, the uh, current price on this Sig particular model, the uh, Combat, is around 900 to 1100 dollars, depending on what area you live what's going on at the time with politics and also if you get the uh, threaded barrel version I think actually the non threaded barrel version might be around 850 but uh, I'm not too sure on that um, just on a side note this is the uh, case that I uh, carry it in it's a Maxpedition case pistol case and it has a spots Get that in focus, yeah. Spots for the uh, magazines. Um, you can hold uh, five magazines in here. Um, then also it has this other compartment that is zippered and it's padded on both sides. The whole case is padded. And you can put your pistol in there. I normally store my SIG and this gun sock, it uh, it has some kind of coating on the fabric that helps with like moisture and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's how I store it. Oh, uh, speaking of coating, um, the Sig, it has I believe it's a phosphate coating. Um, yeah, phosphate coating on the internals uh, for corrosion resistance. I guess if you're going in salt water or whatever. Um, I guess it's nice to have, but I don't plan on going in salt water at all anytime soon with it. But uh, it's nice that it's there for corrosion resistance. But uh, my overall opinion on the SIG is it's an outstanding gun. You, get, you definitely get what you pay for. The uh, fit and finish is definitely superb. Um, you can definitely feel the quality of the craftsmanship on this particular pistol. Um, it's by far my favorite pistol to shoot. Though it's kind of funny, I really don't want to shoot it too often because I'm afraid of dam damaging the uh, finish. Um, because SIGs are truly a work of art. Just the way this pistol fires and just functions and just feels, it's just awesome. Yeah, I definitely give it a two thumbs up. I do. I actually do plan on getting a uh, Mark 25, which is basically the same gun, just in a different finish. I fell in love. Si I've definitely fallen in love with Sigs. They're definitely outstanding guns. So I definitely recommend this pistol to anybody that's in the market for one. I uh, definitely do like how the uh, uh, frames finish is. I think. Um, anodized instead of just like a uh, sprayed on finish like a, a dura coat or whatever I do like that I don't know how much more durable it is but I just like the way it looks so uh, yeah thanks for watching